All right, so how you guys doing today? It's a uh, quite warm morning. Well, it's not that warm, but it's really humid. Uh, August 2nd, 2019. And I have here my uh, Caltech, uh, what's it called, RDB. And so we're gonna take this guy off here and pretty much just focus on the cargo carrier itself. Say cargo carrier, the uh, magazine carrier, or the technical vest, I should say. All right. So this is the UTG technical vest, and um, it's in olive drab. <coughs> Excuse me. And you know, I just decided to load it out to its maximum capacity of what I could do at the time. I don't have all my magazines and such, so. I just put in what I could, fill the magazines up, uh, all the way up with uh, ammo, and uh, packed it on here, and gave a walk around the property a little bit, just to see how it feels, and it doesn't feel too bad, to be honest with you. Um, I have here my uh, Beretta 92S, it's got a uh, full magazine, which in this case is 18 rounds, I don't know if you can see that, alright, 18 rounds there. And it is empty. All right, so um, yeah, I just wanted to load it out, see what it felt like, and um, you know, I've read reviews on Amazon, which is where I purchased this. A lot of people complained about certain things, like the um, shotgun uh, loops. And let me tell you, they are extremely tight. But I did manage to get um, six. 12 gauge rounds into them you really had to fight them in there and I'm hoping that it's uh, loosened up a little bit once it's been stretched out you guys know what I'm talking about all right so once it's been stretched out it should uh, perhaps feed a little easier um, but this thing does um, a fairly decent job I have uh, one two three four 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 magazines of uh, two two three of varying uh, mix. I have 18 rounds of 9mm in the uh, pistol. Okay, uh, another 15 rounds. Right. On the side here, I have three sticks of uh, uh, nine millimeter, uh, 30 round capacity filled to 25. I didn't have a loader and once you got down around 25, man, it really started to, really started to fight back. So um, I just topped them off at, uh, or stopped at uh, 25 rounds, okay. I think I talked about these. Awful. Awful. Right, let's stick this guy out. And let's stick this out because I've already showed these. I'm going to leave the uh, shotgun shells in there just in case, you know. Uh, as a matter of fact, let's pop them out anyway. What the heck? That way I can demonstrate how difficult it is to get these things out. But coming out is a lot easier than going in. Alright, so for anybody who thinks that you can't get them in there, you can, but you're just going to have to fight. And they do look a little more stretched out. They've been sitting in there for about two days. So we'll see if we can get a couple in there. We'll see if we can get a couple in there before I uh, disengage this video. Here I have another magazine. <clears throat> I think I stopped at 15 rounds of the 18. I think I ran out of ammo. All right. Let's see here. I have a relatively heavy Hoffman Richter uh, multi-tool. 
as well as a rather heavy Hoffman Richter um, assist knife, spring assist knife. Okay. And for good measure, just to feel it out, I put a full box of um, Magtek 10 millimeter auto ammo in one of the uh, pouches. And I think that's pretty much it. All right, I think I've, uh, that's about all I've put in here, which was uh, quite a lot. This thing was uh, quite heavy, all right? But all told, I mean, it carried it nicely. Um, one thing that people have concerns about <clears throat> is the, um, the uh, holster, the pistol holster. Um, it's held on, I would say, mostly by uh, Velcro with a couple straps here just to keep things stabilized. Um, well, while I wasn't doing any running, I was, you know, walking and stopping and you know, stooping and all kinds of things, and it felt secure. I never felt as if it was going to come out, so that was good. Um, <clears throat> but overall, I mean, this thing is, I don't know what the durability of it is going to be, because um, only time can really tell for that. Um, I really don't have much time for a, uh, to do, I guess, a stress test on there, put it through its real paces. But, um, I mean, if you need something in a pinch, or if you want to have some um, standby or auxiliary carriers with you, or available for, you know, your family, or um, I guess if you have a group, um, this might be a uh, good way to go. Now, they say that this is good up to, I think, maybe people six foot six or whatever. Uh, I am 5'8". 120, oh, 5'8", <laughs> 165 to 170, depends on how many, uh, what my me last meal was. Um, right out the box, this fit me well. The only thing I adjusted was the shoulder straps to pull it up a little bit. Uh, the waist belt, I um, haven't changed at all. Um, you can adjust that as well if you want to. But for me, it was, I mean, just almost spot on for what I needed. But um, all told, as I said, this would be a good auxiliary for, um, I guess, maybe your extended family or your extended group. Um, there may be people who, you know, you might encounter who, you know, you trust, who may need assistance or will assist you in some survival situations. Having, you know, one of these, it's not that expensive, 30 bucks or so, um, probably wouldn't be a bad idea. Now, I think they sell this as kind of like an airsoft thing. I think that's what it said on um, the Amazon page. But, um, yeah, I think this can actually work as a, um, um, a real tactical vest. As I said, it may not be ideal. And uh, so far, I really haven't uh, experienced too many shortcomings with it. I mean, it seems that everything is pretty secure. And by the way, um, with this, um, the 30 round magazines, I think these are KCI, I believe these are the Korean ones. Uh, you can see there, 30 rounds. Um, for the 92S, you can just cut out a notch there. Now, I did have a little difficulty pushing um, the rounds past there as the follower went down, but if you kind of just, kind of just, you know, put your finger in there, when you put another round in there, you can get past that. And then it continues to feed uh, nicely. Let's see here. I think I had these on the side here. All right. And uh, ideally, I guess you would want to do this with it off, but you know, I guess maybe in field situations, that might not be an option. All right. So we'll put the Hoffman Victors back. 
right. I just did this uh, with the Hoffman Richters for additional weight, just to try these things out. Works well. There you have it. <laughs> that was actually the first time firing this thing. I got it from, um, where did I get this from? Um, I believe it was Classic Firearms for $2.99. It's in pretty decent shape. Um, I actually blew out a couple of. Uh, clean rounds onto the ground all right but uh, yeah that was first time firing that thing and, uh, okay let's put this back up in there all right and we'll put our nine millimeter back in here or ten millimeter Sorry. Now for the fun part, let's see if we can get these guys in here now. Let's just drop these in top there like that for the time being. And yeah, so you, once you get them busted open, you guys know what I'm talking about. It goes in a lot easier. So any detractors out there that say you can't get them in there, you can. You got to force them. But uh, after you let it sit in there, I think I had these sitting in there for about three days. Stretched it out nicely. And as you can see, it went right back in. All right, so uh, that is the UTG Tactical Vest. Um, I believe they refer to it as the Law Enforcement Tactical Vest. Uh, it works out well, I think, for the most part. I guess you probably see my back already. But um, let me know what you guys think. All right. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.